So we have our UI, we have our uh, view controller that connect, uh, controls our UI. Now we are going to start connecting our uh, UI to our view controller. So uh, if you click on uh, assistant editor button here, this will separate the code. And uh, on one side we will have our code and on the other side we will have our UI so we can uh, do our connections. And here on top it says automatic or manual. When it's automatic, it automatically opens the view controller that controls this uh, particular view. So we are going to put some space on top and uh, put our connections. We can start from top, which is our phone number. Uh, click control and drag here. This is going to be a type of outlet and this is going to be our phone number text field. I like to call my outlets and my buttons exactly what they are. For example, not just phone number, I'm putting the text field so if another developer or me later on reads this, I know that this is a text field. Uh, the second one is our uh, code. As you can see, it's hidden here, but we always can, uh, can open our side panel here where we have all our views. So I can even uh, control and drag it from here, put underneath, and I'm going to call this code text field. Hit connect. Now we have two connections. See this red, uh, this round dot here next to the IB outlet. When you hover on top of it, it shows the connection. The code doesn't show because it's hidden right now. Then I'm going to connect the request button as outlet again and I'm going to call this request outlet request button so we have control uh, over our request button as well so this is it for our registration we are going to connect our email registration as well put the email here and just a note for us All right so we can connect our email then the name last name and finally we need the password let me remove the empty spaces here and we need our register button but this one we are not going to connect as outlet we are going to connect it only as an action so let's remove the space from here I'm going to delete the did receive memory warning and other text so we are going to have only our view did load and under view did load I'm going to put a mark I will explain you what the mark is in a minute call this IB action so here I'm going to connect my buttons I have two buttons three actually so the first one is going to be a request button pressed and it's not going to be an outlet it's going to be an action then I'm going to connect my register button again it's going to be an action so I say email register button pressed click enter and also if you remember we have another button here which is the the close button so let's put it under here control drag again it's going to be a type of action and I'm going to call this dismiss actually no let's call it close 
So it's a closed button pressed. Right, so we have three buttons now. Let's close our assistant editor and let's move to our register view controller. So we have our IB actions. Uh, the reason I'm putting mark here, if you have a lot of code later on, you see here you can uh, quickly navigate through your functions or variables. And IB actions, it's just a mark here. You see, if I remove it, there is everything disconnected together. But uh, if I put the mark here and call it IB action or any name you want, just gives me a nice breakpoint here so I can see that these parts are my buttons. Okay, just the way I like to write the code, make it clean. Right, so you can have your the way you want it. So we have three buttons. The request button, the email registration, and the close button. So let's start actually from the close button, which is the easy part, I think. What we want to happen when we are closing the if, uh, if I go to my application here, so we have the close button. When I click it, it just goes back to my application. So you see, I can have different tabs here, but once I close, it just jumps back to the my, uh, main application. So uh, we are going to write a code that it will take us to our main view. So let's say, let main view is equals and we are going to access our storyboard so I say UI storyboard and then we are going to uh, get the one with the name and the name of it is actually called main storyboard so I can say main the bundle we just put nil and then we need to instantiate a storyboard so we say instantiate with view controller with uh, identifier and we need to pass an identifier here. So if I go to my main view controller and I select some view and go on the right panel here, see here uh, it has a storyboard identifier. So we can give each view a storyboard identifier and then we can connect to it through code. So we just jump to it. We don't have to use any segues or something. So before we can do this, apart from this view, we have no other view, so we are going to create some. So we can actually close this and go to that view. So let's, um, let's see. Uh, we need a navigation controller. No, we need a tab bar controller. Let's find it. Split view tab bar controller. So if I drag this out, you can see it's a huge thing. It's a controller with two views. All right, so I'm going to close the side panel to have some extra space here. Uh, we are going to use our tab bar controller here, but I'm going to, let's try to zoom in, yeah. I'm going to select the two views it came with and let's try to delete them. If all right, the first one is deleted, the other one, all right, and this is deleted as well. So, um, now we are going to put our uh, view, we are going to call our tab bar and give it a storyboard identifier so we can actually call it whenever we want through code. So, I select my tab bar controller, I go to storyboard identifier, and I'm going to call this main VC hit enter, make sure it stays there and just copy it. So this tab bar will have an identifier. So let's go to our register and uh, we are going to instantiate and give it the uh, identifier. And uh, we are going to call this uh, because we know that this is a, this is a tab bar controller we are going to tell our Xcode that this is as UI tab bar controller. Tab bar controller. So our Xcode knows what type of view we are uh, segueing to. All right, and then once we have our uh, view, we can actually 
presented. So we say self, which we are accessing our uh, view view controller, and then we say present self dot present, and we are going to present a view controller, which is our main view. Animated, we are going to say true and completion nil because we don't want anything to happen after the view is presented. Right, so if uh, we click our close button, it should take us to our uh, tab bar controller, which right now doesn't have any any views. So let's uh, let's drag one view, and I'm going to show you how to connect it to the tab bar. So we let's also zoom out a bit, put this on different level here. So we have our view cleaner zoom packing so we have a view here and we want to link it to our tab bar so it's one of the tab bar views so if i click on my tab bar here control drag it to my view and under relationship segue i say view controllers you see automatically it becomes my first view so uh, let's actually select our view here give it a background color of something other than white red for example and I'm going to run my application so by clicking the X it should take me to my tab bar controller which will take me automatically to the first view right so click X and you see this is our tab bar it has only one item and this is my red uh, view so our X button is working